sets and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Welcome back. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Jack Van Meter. Now today was an absolutely gorgeous day. That humidity really did stay on the lower side so we could actually get out and really enjoy these almost summer like conditions today. Now we're starting to cool down at that 59 here in South Bend, 57 up in St. Joseph. Cool spot on the map going to be Michigan City at just 54 degrees. So if you are going out tonight, have any of those late night plans, just grab that light jacket and honestly hold on to that for the morning commute too. Because look at this, 6 a.m. We're going to be also at 57 degrees there. So if you are getting up for work, maybe just take that jacket. But good news is you probably will not need it by the time you leave work around 5 o'clock in the evening. Now another thing that we are watching here at WNDU is going to be the chance for some isolated patchy fog tomorrow morning. The issue is we still have some of the, that leftover moisture from the rain yesterday, right? So we still have that and we're also dealing with cooler temperatures. So bringing that closer to that condensation level can give us the chance for some fog here. So let's time this out here. Got this started here at 1 a.m. tonight. As I put this in motion and stopped it here at 6, we can see visibility has dropped. Elkhart's under half a mile for visibility. South Bend is almost at a mile and a half there. So just take some extra time tomorrow. Take some precaution as well if you are hitting out and you see uh, some areas of fog there. And by noon, that sun will come out and mix all that moisture out and we'll be seeing nothing but blue skies. Maybe a couple clouds here and there tomorrow. Forecast for tomorrow, 85 degrees. Summer is back. Mostly sunny conditions. We do have a slight chance for some showers in the evening though tomorrow. So do watch out for that. Around the area though, again, going to feel like summer. 85s around the map. Even some isolated 87s here and there. Hour by hour tomorrow. Again, just watch out for that fog on the morning commute there, but warming up very quickly there. Um, as we can see, already at 80 degrees by 3 o'clock and hit that high around 4 and 5 o'clock tomorrow of around 85 degrees. Tracking out our next weather maker. I've got it here on Monday night. Like I said, we do have a chance for some isolated showers here. So we can see just some slight showers are starting to move into Michiana though, but good news is as soon as that sun sets, so that takes away a lot of the energy from these showers and some storms, and we should just be dealing with cloud cover for much of the night. Looking at uh, uh, looking into the week, I should say, um, we do have a couple other chances for some rain. Like I said, pretty low on Monday. We're thinking by the time it gets to Michiana, it will pretty much fall apart, though. But Tuesday into Wednesday, we are tracking our next big system coming through. Going to be a lot of rain, a couple of rumbles or thunder or two with that system as well. 10-day forecast, we can see we got a bit of everything. we got summer for the beginning of the week and cooling off for the end of the week, but also we got a bit of a dry weekend. Jackson will have sports after the break.